In this video, we'll be looking at how to complete the square to get the vertex form of a quadratic equation. The example that we'll be working with is f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 8. And we're told to complete the square to graph that function and then give the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the domain, and the range. Our first step in completing the square is to rewrite the function as y equals. Remember, we can take f of x out and put in a y. So our equation now is y equals negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 8. Step two, we have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. We cannot complete the square unless the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay? That's very important to remember. You have to have a 1 here. You can't do it if it's a number other than 1. I'm going to divide every term by negative 3. And my equation then now is y over negative 3 equals 1, these cancel, and I have x squared minus 4x. And then I usually leave a space here because I'll be putting my next uh, number in there. Um, this negative 8 divided by negative 3 is a positive 8 thirds. All right, step 3, I want to take the x coefficient, which in our case is negative 4, and I want to half that. So 1 half of negative 4 is negative 2. Then that number I want to square, so negative 2 squared is 4. And then I'm going to add and subtract that number from the right side. So I'm going to add 4 and subtract 4. So now you can see why I left a space there. You have to add and subtract, and the reason for that is, first of all, so that you don't change the value of the equation. But the main thing, I guess, that you need to realize is that these will not be canceling each other out because what I'm going to do next in step four is I'm going to group these first three terms together and then group the last two terms together so that the positive 4 and the negative 4 are actually not going to make each other go away. In step 4, I want to write the first three terms as the square of a binomial. So let me copy this here, y over negative 3 equals okay. the first three terms, the reason for adding and subtracting 4 was because now I have a perfect square trinomial right here. The first term of this binomial will be the square root of x squared, so that'll be x, and then the operation between the two terms is going to be a negative, and then the square root of the 4 is 2. So this binomial, if I were to square it out, would give me this trinomial. Right? Also in step 4, I want to combine these last two terms. Just do the math. A positive 8 thirds and a negative 4. This is the same as uh, negative 4 over 1, so I'll multiply top and bottom of that fraction by 3 to get a common denominator. 
So I have a positive 8 thirds and a negative 12 thirds, which will be a negative 4 thirds. Okay, I almost have my vertex form. I just need to get y by itself over here again. So step 5 will be to multiply both sides by a to get the equation back to y equals. If I multiply both sides by negative 3, Now, you're, you're only going to multiply this term, so you're going to write it out in front. This is going to be my a value for my vertex form. And then multiply here by negative 3 as well. These cancel, and I have y equals negative 3 times the quantity x minus 2 squared, and then multiplying a negative 4 thirds times a negative 3, that'll give me positive, and then the 3's cancel, and I have positive 4. So this is my vertex form of this standard equation right here. Notice on this one, my vertex can be found from h, k, so my vertex is at 2, 4, my axis of symmetry is x equals 2, let's write this with a comma here, x equals 2, um, I see from this information, a is negative 3, that my parabola opens down. And it's going to be stretched by a value of 3 times each of the y's. So I could... Vertex is at 2, 4. My axis of symmetry is a vertical line through here. My parabola is opening down, and if I go right 1, I have to go down 3 because I'm stretching it 3 times as much. So 1, 2, 3. Also, if I go left one, I go down three as well. I was asked for the domain and range. Domain is all real numbers. And the range, our smallest number is negative infinity, and we come up to 4. So negative infinity up to 